Hope everybody's okay. Look how everybody's looking after themselves. And uh, happy Monday to everybody. Um, due to technical difficulties on YouTube, StreamYard for the last couple of days. I said there'll be no live stream tonight at 7 p.m. on StreamYard. Um, and so I decided I would do it this way instead so you still get the same um, kind of content but thought we'd do it in uh, Beechwood Park. Uh, yeah. Um, so you can actually have a look at Beechwood Park as well. Right, yeah. And uh, tonight's live um, should have been about home education. I'm joined uh, by Mackie, who was in front of the camera as it stands. But first, he's not facing you, but his back is there. <laughs> so I hope everybody's okay. Um, and I hope everybody's looking after themselves. Like I said, it's a bit of a different life. Um, about... Home education, won't it? Yeah. yeah. And for people that don't know, I went to junior school, infant school, um, went all the way through junior school and infant school. Then I went on to uh, high school, which was at Holy Trinity Church of England Senior School, yes. as it was known then. It was a Church of England school um, that followed the rules of the Christian faith um, and that type of thing. Um, when I went to school, I stayed in the school for a few um, good years. Um, started off with a ed teacher called Williamson um, which was uh, quite a bit of a funny uh, weird individual who um, liked having sex uh, with um, teaching staff of the male kind and the female um, kind and ended up losing his job uh, because he got caught um, with his pants down and his dick up a male teacher's backside in a sense um, and was caught by one of the school um, governors, senior governors, senior governors um, at the time. Um, so he left. Well, he got sacked in a sense. Um, we'll come on this way. He got sacked, sacked in a sense. Um, and then we had a new head teacher which came up from um, Brighouse and Rastrakai. When he was at that school, he was a, a deputy head, but he went on um, to being uh, the head teacher of Holy Trinity. 
Church of England Senior School. Um, I stayed roughly, I think it was about two um, year nine, ten. Yeah. Around that time. Um, before Dad decided, and Mum decided to actually uh, pull me out and or medicate me. Um, due to being stalked and harassed and uh, all kinds of horrible things um, like that um, and mental health problems, stress, anxiety, um, depression um, and that type of thing because the person that was actually stalking us all at the time her daughter ended up going up to uh, Holy Trinity Senior School and uh, because the at the time the ridings uh, closed and they moved all the ridings students up to Holy Trinity so she was a member of the ridings but moved to Holy Trinity and that's why uh, from problems around that they pulled me out um, to being home educated um, when I was home educated um, at that time um, I had uh, learning disabilities um, I had a statement of special educational needs um, and all types of things like that so uh, the homeschooling aspect of it um, was a lot harder uh, for my parents with having uh, dyslexia um, and learning disabilities um, and that type of thing. Um, around that time as well, um, we were still uh, having problems uh, with being stalked, um, harassed um, and that type of thing uh, with the police and all um, kind of things um, like that um, yeah so actually around that time uh, it was my dad and mum that was actually teaching me um, at home then and I was doing I think it was maths yes. uh, and English um, joinery was trying to start going on to um, wasn't it yes. and things like that um, Dad decided that we needed to concentrate more on maths and English and joinery and said we needed to leave the other subjects um, that are taught in mainstream education alone because you don't need them in day to day life um, I think that was right wasn't it? Yeah you don't need them if you didn't get into that position so he decided to um, leave them um, alone. Um, around that time, um, I believe we got a couple of visits um, from a welfare officer. Yes. Um, education and, welfare officer. Yeah. Um, For education. Yeah. For fucking useless. <clears throat> yeah, and we got um, someone from the Senco department at Calderdale Council. Who was also fucking useless. Um, so I went for a couple of years of being at home um, education before I tried to get enrolled onto a joinery course and at that time because I had no GCFCs uh, and things like that I had to start from round one of getting qualifications and that type of thing to actually go on um, to that course. So I started with Calderdale Training at the time, uh, which was foundation learning, yes. um, getting maths and English and all that a lot through uh, foundation learning. Which were also fucking useless. Um, at Calderdale College. Um, then I went on to... Um, a six weeks uh, apprenticeship -y program thing, yeah. um, doing all different types of construction crafts um, at the time. Um, it's a waste of time. Which complete were a waste of time. Um, around that time, um, then I passed it all, qualified all, and all that stuff. Um, still had no maths and English. 
uh, at a high level but then um, due to my background uh, they decided to, that I was uh, capable to do level one um, bench carpentry and joinery um, so I went on and uh, did that um, doing maths and English alongside that um, passed maths uh, failed English at that, that time um, so I did that and then they decided I needed to um, go on to doing more maths and English alongside level 2 um, carpentry and joinery so I did that uh, around that time as well they decided to cancel half a dozen lessons on maths and English um, blaming that there wasn't the right staffing level on things like that um, so I went and did level uh, 2 um, they dropped the English and maths course so I just had to carry on doing the maths and um, doing the uh, carpentry and joinery um, past all that uh, then they decided that they wasn't fit, able to teach me there wasn't the right um, staff um, around that time so they decided to uh, say that I wasn't uh, capable of doing level 3 carpentry and joinery I think that was right what she just said yeah so he went to Leeds Building College so I went then on to another course at Kirk Leeds no it was Kirk Leeds yeah. then it was Leeds I went on to doing um, media then at uh, Kirk Lee's um, College which I passed at a high level so then that moved me uh, couldn't be able to teach me anything more um, around um, that aspect um, so then decided that I could go on to another course and continue with uh, carpentry and joinery so then I went to Leeds College of Building um, and uh, did furniture, carpentry and joinery, bench and site um, and a few other things as well which I passed uh, a master's degree, uh, degree um, with that um, and then uh, Around that time as well, I was also radio presenting and doing all that, that type of thing um, as well. Um, so that's where I ended up um, coming from. And uh, that was all through uh, mum and dad uh, teaching me basically, um, learning me life skills and all that type of thing um, from being stopped and harassed um, and things like that um, so yeah uh, the message is that you can actually succeed if you get the right backing if you get the right backing and the right support um, it doesn't happen in all aspects of everybody um, to be totally honest and if I could have gone through school um, at you, that don't need, time. You, don't need, you don't need school, that's the trouble what people are thinking. If they get the right if you get the right people to support you, you don't need school. School's just basically somewhere where you can where, the, where you have to go. It's made it's a law from the government. But didn't you find out being at home and home education were better than school? Did you learn more? Yeah. You learned how to survive. You learned how to you learn your life skills. You don't learn that at school. You sit in a class for an hour reading out of a fucking textbook, which learns you FH. Yeah, but uh, with school. Well, I don't. You don't. Yeah, but only children, what you get with school is you meet your friends and that, but you can do that at school. Yeah. The, you, uh, at home, you learn more at home. It's called life skills. Life skills are more important. Um. You can learn maths. You learn maths every day. It's easy to learn maths. If your mum goes cooking in the kitchen, it's maths. Yeah, but you need. If your dad's. Yeah, but you need you the don't qualifications to, to be able you don't to need succeed. Qualifi you don't in need life. qualifications. This is what I'm trying to say to you. This is where it all comes up to a lower. Just so that you, the school get a good name. You don't need qualifications to go and learn to do a job. Bring back the apprenticeships. We can go and learn on the job. 
which is more better than because you've got 50 degrees in a, sun, in a subject doesn't mean you can do that subject learning the subject learning being on the job is more important that is what you call doing the job and learning the job not oh I've just finished college and now I'm a doctor in medication but well, I'm a, I'm a doctor in science if you haven't been in the fucking thing and done it it's only a piece of paper that's all it is a piece of fucking paper to say you've been in college or university and passed a bit uh, but you haven't been there and done the job this is where people make them fucking mistakes oh good I've been to university now I am a fucking teacher wait a minute have you been in the classroom? Have you been in, uh, and teach the classroom? No, but I've been to university. So fucking what? You haven't been in a classroom. You haven't been and teached a classroom. So you're not a fucking teacher because you've got a piece of fucking paper. This is what I've got me angry and sick. You've got to do the fucking job to be that, per to do that fucking qualification. Oh good, I've just got my diploma written. I education fucking management. Wait a minute, have you done it? Have you been there? Can you say you've worn the t-shirt and done that job? Or you've just been to university and got a piece of fucking paper? I've just been to university and got a piece of paper. Well, you're not fucking done it. You're not fucking trained. It's just a piece of fucking paper. This is what's got, This is what people need to wake up to. Oh good, I'm going to university and I'm going to learn to be a doctor. Wait a minute, are you going to be on the wards? Are you going to be with the patients? Are you going to be hands on? That is what needs to be done in this round here. Not just to get a piece of fucking paper to say you can, it doesn't mean a fucking thing. But to, to, but to employers, a piece of paper is like fucking gold. Wait a minute. I'd have someone who's done the job than someone who's got a piece of fucking paper to say, to say that they've been there in a fucking college or university. It doesn't mean fuck all. It's just a piece of fucking paper. Somebody who's been there is better than someone who's got a piece of fucking paper. This is what I'm saying. They need to bring back the apprenticeships. They need to, they need to open the fucking factories and get the get the kids back in the fucking factories, learning trades like we did when we left school. We left school. We had an apprenticeship where you could go and learn that job, mm. not go to fucking college to learn it. We learn fuck all. It's better. If you want to be a joiner, go in a fucking joiner shop. Not get, go to fucking college and learn uh, for a few hours and doing and making fucking joints and shit like that. When you're not been there doing the fucking actual job. It don't mean fuck all. That's what I was saying to you. When you were learning it. Be there. Do the fucking job. Then you can say you can do it. Because you've got a piece of fucking paper in your hand doesn't mean sweet fuck all. And this is what this, this is what the world needs to wake up to. And the fucking government, they need to fucking. If they want to go to college, give them a fucking thing outside of it so they can do that job. Not just sit behind a fucking desk. If you want to do joinery, good for them. Get them in a fucking joinery shop. And I mean a joinery shop. I don't mean a, a fucking workshop, classroom based fucking pile of crap, what university or college are. I mean a proper work shop owned by a company so they can learn on and experience what it's like to actually work in a business 
and staying in a fucking college or university. This is what the this is what we need. We need our trades back. We need, we need our trades back. And the only way we can get us trades back is to get these fucking apprenticeships back open so the kids can go and learn on the job. Which makes them more skillful, trained in that job. Instead of sitting behind a fucking desk or in a fucking classroom writing a copying out of a fucking book what's learning them sweet fuck all but that's my rant this is what the world needs to do it needs to wet up and the government needs to start to wet up and think we're out of Brexit let's get our fucking kids back to what we had a fucking decent workforce a decent businesses Business make money. Money is good. Money goes towards helping the NHS. It goes towards other items. Instead of fucking seeing the kids when they come off school. Oh, you must go to college. Fuck off college. Fuck off university. If they want to go to university, it should be free. But they should, as I said, they should also have... The, the subject that I want to learn at the side of it I want to be a joiner join the shop I want to be a doctor hospital I want to be a dentist in the fucking dentist this is what the country needs I want to be a mechanic get him in the fucking garages or in the textile business if I want to learn to sew this is what we need to do instead of fucking sit behind a desk with a fucking textbook learning sweet fuck all Life skills is more important than a fucking qualification. Yep. And uh, we'll leave it there, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And please support Tom Herdman. Herman. Herman. Uh, Society X, Turbo Fight Hub and Tony Dickinson and Justice Freedom Fighter Mackey.